What's up guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. This is the video 3. I've uh, found a way of activating the uh, beginner missions again. As you could see like from video 2 I struggled with trying to get it activated but I realised what I did wrong by going off on doing my own missions. It deactivates the, uh, the start, like the start tutorial. So there's only one way of getting it back I found. So if you stick with the video all the way through, I actually uh, get to it right at the end of the video. Like, So if you're stuck, just watch the video and uh, you'll work it out like. So having the missions really helps, I'm telling you. So what I do is I start cracking on with the missions. And uh, the first mission is really easy. So as you'll see in a minute, like guys and girls. It's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why, but when I was recording the video, I was having a couple of performance issues. I'm not sure why, because I'm sure when I recorded like last time, the footage was perfect every time. You know, the first two videos, the footage came out really well like so I'm not sure why I start having performance issues in this video but what I've done is I've reset my phone like after I've made the video so I'm hoping like that's fixed it I'm hoping so yeah we'll just have to wait and see for the like video for what happens but uh, as you can see the first mission was real simple on it you just head out and then come back And, uh, yeah, next mission doesn't really go to plan, like, but I'll crack on with it anyway. So we're just uh, doing a bit of training here. It's asking you to do some training. and you, um, There's a perk it gives you, so you level up, like, instantly, a bit like when you're an Omega. You see, the Alphas can't. You've got like a time limit on it. It's the same on EVE Online. There's like a time limit, but if you buy the Omega pack, you, your training speed's like unbelievably fast. So, as you can see, I've got to click the button, but I don't realise it right at the beginning. Like. Yeah, so it takes you to... This area here, but as you can see, I'm already doing some training. So that's the perk, I think, that we've just done there. So, yeah, I crack on with it. And, uh, yeah, I've got some good news, like, after having my laptop for like three and a half, four years, I finally bought myself an SSD for it, so I don't know whether you caught my Twitch stream the other day, but I told you it takes 10 minutes to turn on, which is an absolute disgrace when I bought it in 2018. You know, like, the fact it takes 10 minutes to turn on is a complete disgrace. So anyway, when I upgraded my computer to an SSD, it took nine minutes off the start up time, guys. So I'm hoping it's going to do the same for the laptop. I don't think it's going to be as quick. Because it's... I put an M2 slot, like an SSD and an M2 slot on the computer. Whereas I don't have one on the laptop. So I've got to run a older type of SSD. They're not quite as fast. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping it's still going to improve the start-up time, so I can't wait to get it on board, like. But I, ne I needed to make this video first before I totally reset the computer. Because it takes your ages setting them up to how you like them. So, yeah, that's a job for this week, that, like. But I'm going to crack on and get this video done first. Upload it. Hopefully I'll get it all done tonight. I was hoping to get me recording done earlier, but 
I got caught doing a few things like, so I never got around to it like. So, cracking on with it now. I've just like, uh, I thought I'd do this video a bit different. I've left myself a little script this time. So I can read through what's happening in the video because I've just watched the full thing, which has just took me an hour. So it like, it takes me an hour to record it. Then it takes me an hour to watch it and to, like, to work out what I'm going to say. And then I've still got to edit the video and reprocess it with like a beginning and end on it. So I've still got to encode the video. Honestly, there's absolute hours that goes into all this, you know. You don't realise when you just watch a few videos on YouTube. But as you can see, this mission's not going well. I don't know whether it's because I haven't turned on all of my things. I forgot to turn one of them on. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't go, it doesn't go to plan this mission. As you can see, I'm nearly dead already. So, he gets me ejected into me pod in a minute. So I'm not very happy about it. Here we go. Am I gonna? That's my wreck. Yeah, so I head back. Obviously, it's automatic because automatic you're on a because you're on a training mission. You, normally, what happens in you get ejected into your pod, and then you've got to make your way back to a space station to where you've got another ship. So yeah, I'm not quite sure why what happens here, but I seem to get another Punisher. And I collect another ship. And then a bit later on I get another ship. Which is the same as... I get two courses. And a Punisher. So, like, as you can see, I've just been... Even though I've just lost a ship, I've just gained two. So, it's just the way it is. I think you're meant to die on that mission. Just to show you what happens, I think. But as you can see, they want me to go out in the course, so... I repackage, like, I, I uh, fit the ship out in a minute. And, uh, yeah, I've got a repackage. I don't know why it's called repackage. It's a bit of a strange name, isn't it? you think it'd just be, like, remove, remove fittings, wouldn't you? But they called it repackage. And all it does is it takes all the goods off your ship and puts them back in your hold. Like, puts them back in the hangar. So, yeah, so I fit out my corser. And then um, we go out and crack on with the mission again. And uh, it goes quite well this time. As you'll find out when we uh, get to it, like. But it takes ages fitting the ships out, like. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can, but honestly... It still takes about a minute or two to fit out a ship, like. Yeah, so we're on to Chapter 7 now. Chapter 8's the last chapter, I think. And then you're on to the advanced missions. So we're not too far away from the end of the beginner missions here. Like, I try the sound. Because, like I said, the game doesn't seem right when there's no sound in it, you know. It just doesn't seem right. So it's showing you the map of... Uh, like New Eden, I think it's called. So there's loads of other like 
factions and stuff that you can join and as you found out in my last video I got accepted by the wrecking crew so that was part of one of the missions you needed to join a uh, what do they call them uh, a crew basically I had to join a crew and uh, yeah that took some time before I got accepted. It took about 24 hours, but I checked it the next day and I was accepted. So I just done a quick bit of mining and then turned it off and thought, right, I'll uh, make a video later on then. But as you can see here, I don't realize I'm meant to click the new Eden button because I've never tried clicking them buttons yet. Like I didn't realize you could even click on the sector. So it wants me to go to that one there. So it's just explaining about like the low sec systems and the null sec null security null security system like sectors and stuff and basically if you travel into them there's a high chance you're gonna die. Cause all the pro players live in them. From what I've worked, from what I can work out. Like I went for a bit of an adventure the other day on my Eve Online. And only ventured into one system three times with a load of ships. And on my way out at the third time I lost my ship. So I, I only managed to get 18 on for sale. And then I lost a two million pound ship. So I wasn't too happy about it, like, but it's just how it goes. I'm going to have to build another one on my EVE Online. So, yeah, I thought I'd crack on with EVE Echoes, like, I've been quite enjoying playing it, like, to be honest with you. It's like, obviously, it's quite fast to load up, isn't it, you know? It's easy. You can play, like, within a few minutes, like, within about 30 seconds, you're into the game. Whereas if I have to turn on my computer, then change the telly, and then sign in, and then it takes ages doing it on the computer, like. Whereas it's just like a fast process on the on the on the phone, like. Yeah, so there's the other ship. I've just been given that a special course of trainer. Quite what the difference is, I'm not too sure. But it wants me to fit out this ship, so I agree though it, you know, like just to get the missions done really, I mean. I found that like if you put skins on your ship, it actually gives you uh, like special perks, like you get like so much percentage off your damage and stuff. So the skins are worth fitting if you get them. Like I've got a few on me other game. But like. Yeah, it makes the ship look different, and like I said, it gives you a perk as well, so it's worth doing, like. So, I've got to catch the pod stealer. This is the next mission. So, I don't think I have too many problems with this. I think it's a... Fairly easy, easy going mission, like. Yeah, so. Doesn't take too long doing this mission, I don't think, from what I can remember. But like as you can see here, I'm starting to get a performance issue. So I'm not sure if it's the ship that I'm in, the Corsa, because it doesn't happen when I'm in the Punisher or the Magnet. So I'm not sure. But as you can see, it's a bit stuttery, isn't it? So I'm not sure whether I'm going to have to turn my graphics down 
to medium to fix this issue or whether I was just having a problem with a phone you know and resetting it's going to fix it I'm not sure so as you can see like there's a mission that I do a bit later on and there's like five ships or six ships or something on there like all out at once and to be honest with you I don't remember it being that bad on my other when I'm in the other ships so maybe because it's a bigger ship it's having to do more processing on the phone but it does run fairly smooth like nearly all the time that I've found so far it's only this video it seems to be a bit of a problem so I'm thinking it's maybe the Corsa it's either that or it's just because the beginner missions I was doing before weren't like they weren't testing the processor properly do you see what I mean like they weren't giving it a hard time so because they were obviously basic easy missions it doesn't have to do a lot of processing does it whereas when you start moving through the game the, you get more enemies don't you it has to process a lot more data so maybe that's the reason but i don't know well well we'll see what happens i'll try a few more recordings on high and if i'm still having issues with the performance i'll have to turn it down to medium So here we've just got a structure. We've got to build a structure, I think. Which is something that I've not done in my other game. So I was quite surprised, like, with the beginning tutorials, that I got the opportunity to try and build a structure. Like, I wasn't expecting that to happen, like, at all. Yeah, I clicked the wrong button there. I didn't click personal assets in the bottom left. Uh, it's hidden in there. I don't know why it's hidden in there. So it's telling you to look on the markets to see how much other ones are worth. I'm not quite sure why, because we don't end up selling it anyway. It's just showing you, so I have a quick scroll down. And they go as low as 30,000. So I exit out the buyers and sellers section, and then uh, we'll crack on with something else, I think. Oh no, I, I must sell it then. Yeah, I must sell it. You see, I'll, I'll, look in the, I'll look in my wallet later on. But I don't see a fee for it. You see, everything costs you on this game. If you put something in the market on, like... It costs you to list it on the market. So everything costs you money in this game. It makes it quite interesting if you ask me. Because it stops everyone just putting on stupid stuff all the time. Like when you've got a pay. But like I found out like there's loads of people in like on the other game. But that overprice the goods. And I'm telling you now, people aren't going to pay it. You know, and then you, you're stuck with an item. You're limited, you're limited to how many items you can actually list at once. So, yeah, why, why waste a slot, if you know what I mean? 
So as you can see, I didn't activate one of the items. And then I activate nearly everything, I think. But as you can see, like, the power of my ship, like, it's going down fast. It's the yellow bar that's saying about 60%, and it's... It doesn't take long before it goes right down, so I have to turn a few things off, like... Because I'm not sure what happens when it goes down to zero. I'm guessing your guns stop, I'm guessing. Yeah, so as you can see, I turn off two items there, the armor repairer and the, um, whatever the other thing is. But it seems to sort, sort it out so that it stops draining it anyway. Yeah, so I was quite happy about picking up part of a structure or whatever we were supposed to be doing there. I need to try and work out how to build proper structures on the other game, like, and on this game. Try and work it out, like. The problem is, is I'm guessing it's going to cost you millions. And when you're, when you're at the beginning of the game, you're not going to be able to afford to build structures, so... We'll have to, like, you'll have to check back in about two years' time, guys and girls. I might have a structure built by then. Because I'm telling you, you can stick hours into this game, like, absolutely hours. Yeah, look, I look at the markets. I've got a broker's fee there. But I'm not sure if that's what I've just done. You know, when I said I listed that item, but it didn't seem to show up. It still seemed to be in my personal assets. Yeah, so I think this is a mission where we go out and we have to scan for some planets. Like, there's a, on the other game, there's a button to press to bring up your scanner, but on this game, you, there doesn't seem to be a button, it just sort of, like it does there, it brings up a box and it says scan system. Like, I'm not sure how to manually scan. But, it didn't take long. We got the planet. And then we head back. Easy, easy mission, that one, like. Nobody should have trouble with that one. Yeah, so I set the destination and we head back. Obviously, you've got to go through a warp gate to get back, but it doesn't take long, like. And then... Um, yeah, it takes you through a bit more of the uh, paid paid stuff in a minute. Where, like, obviously it wants you to buy, but obviously I'm trying to play for free for the minute anyway. You know, like, I want to get my profile in the situation where, like, I want to pay. Does that make sense? Like, I want to upgrade and pay. Like, I'm hoping there's going to be enough gameplay in the game, because there is on EVE Online. I've been playing for nearly a year and a half. And honestly, I'm still playing. You know, like, so... I'm hoping that EVE Echoes is going to be the same, where, like, I can use it for a year and a half, and... Yeah, you know, not have to buy anything. You see, like, the way that I see it is I'm more likely going to buy the, like, buy the perk if I'm enjoying the game. Whereas, like, trying to force it on you to buy at the beginning of a game is the wrong thing to do, like. 
Like, I'm not interested in playing half an hour's worth of a game before I've got to buy it. It just doesn't do it for me, like. I just won't play the game. I'll find another game to play. So there, we get a chip set there. And it, um, it upgrades my mining resources, I think. So that I can mine more, more items. So instead of just mining two items, I can now mine four items at a time. So I decided to split it up in between two. Uh, I do like base metals and then lithium alloy or whatever it's called. So we'll get there in a minute. Yeah, plant tree productions it's in. Oh, that's it, lustering out alloy. So as you can see, I've already got a bit mining there. I'm doing base metals, which is the bottom one. I didn't realise, but I had four. I thought I only had one. Yeah, there we go. So I clicked two. I come back and reset the 24 hour clock later on, I think. Oh no, I'll do it there. Or I've reset it again later on. At the end of the video. Makes it nice and air. Uh, Makes it nice and simple that you can do planetary production. I don't think it's something I can do on the other game. Or it's not something I've found anyway. Yeah, you see there, I got accepted by the wrecking crew. So yeah, yeah, this is where I'm, it's trying to get you to purchase paid content. But like, you can, it's asking you to view it, like view the description. So there is something that I do in here. Like, like obviously it's showing you like, the benefits from being a paid member, that everything's better. Like I said, you you can train your, in your skill tree unbelievably fast. So it pays off if you, if you want to progress through the game fast. You see there, it's asking me to go to the store again. And then the pilot service, and it's, yeah, you see, it's more paid stuff here. But obviously, like I told you, I'm trying to play for free. But it's just showing you what what's available. Here we go, we get out of this in a minute. It only lasts a few minutes. At least I'm not trying to ram it down your throat. This is what I like about the game. So don't try and force force the paid content on you too much. Like, like I said, you can play for free for ages. It's something that like I really like. Like I said, I'm more likely going to buy it in the future if I'm not getting hassled to purchase all the time. Yeah, so I've got to go and protect some scientists, I think you said.
yeah, you'll see this performance issue, I'm sure it's here. You'll see it in a minute. So I'm just giving it a quick read because obviously it's the first time that I've played this game. So like I need to read all the missions because I don't know when I've not played it before. You're better off reading it rather than just skipping through it all and not understanding what you're meant to be doing. There you see like there's five on the screen there. And as you can see I start getting issues. It's alright though. I get them took out in a matter of minutes. They're quite easy ship these ones. You see, obviously I'm shooting at him, but nothing's happening. So I'll turn on the battery looking thing. It must increase your firepower, I think. Because it, like, it didn't seem to even be touching him without turning it on. And then I'll turn the guns off by accident. But as you can see, it's not silky smooth at the minute, is it? But like, look at all them satellite dishes in the background. There's like five enemies and about five satellites all in the background, you know, like. That could have been the issue. It was just too much, too much to process. See, it seems to have calmed down a bit there, hasn't it? You know, like it's running a little better now. Now that there's only one on the screen. I don't know, we'll see what it's like in the next couple of videos, guys and girls. I might have to turn the graphics down to medium if it's an issue. Or it's still an issue. Like, I didn't really want to have to. But like there is like a, it does look slightly better on high, rather, and it looks even slightly better on extreme as well. But it stuttered a little bit when you were just moving it about, like so. That's why I recorded on high rather than extreme. Because even when I was in the base, and I was moving around the ship, you could see it stuttering slightly. So I thought, right. There's no way I'm going to be able to record when it's like that. So I turned it down to high and I was getting good footage out of it. Like, So here we go, we're on to chapter 8. We pick up a venture soon. We take it out for a quick mine, but like I need to um take it out for a mine by myself, like yeah, because obviously it's only a beginner mission, isn't it? And it only took about two minutes to do. You know, like it's not. It's uh, you know, like it's not like. A fair portrayal on how long the mining actually takes. Because I'm telling you on my other game. It takes nearly half an hour to fill the ship. So I'm hoping that it doesn't take half an hour to fill, to fill this ship. But what I did notice is that. I don't know how to bring up the cargo hold. 
Like, I'm not really sure how you bring it up, like. See, like, I fit the man, I fit the venture out in, the, like, in a few minutes. It only takes us a few seconds. But like I said, I don't know how to bring the cargo hold up so that I know how much I've got, like, how much room I've got left. We go. You see, I go for the armor repair, but it it doesn't want me to put that on. It wants me to put the shield thing on. See, all these perks have different type of perks. Like, you need to properly do your research into it. Like, so here we go. We go out for our first mine. First bit of mining. Yeah, we'll get there in a minute. I was just reading the screen still. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how you bring up the cargo hold. I don't see a button to actually press. But it must just tell you when it's full, maybe. So yeah, so I decide to orbit it. But like, I don't think it brings me in close enough to mine it. See, like, I can't tell if I'm mining or not. This is a problem. So I click approach because it tells me to click approach. You see, like, on my other game, you can only mine when you're within so many meter, so many kilometers of the asteroid, and if you're over, it won't let you mine. So I'm guessing it's the same for this game. But what, like, I, what I can't work out with this game is how you stop your ship. It hasn't told me how I stop my ship without crashing into stuff. So there, like, I try to cancel the mining early, because you can do that on the other game. You can cancel it early, and you still get the rewards. But there we go, we're done. All I've got to do is skedaddle out of here. Yeah, it's funny how it told me to approach the warp gate and now it's telling me to warp. Yeah. But it's alright, we make it back to the base. So it's all good. Yeah, so like I said, I've not had a chance yet to actually take it out and like I could have done it in the past day or two, like turn the game on and had a go, but I just haven't I kept forgetting forgetting to do it. So I'll give it a test drive one day and we'll I'll try and see how you bring the cargo hold up so I can see how much room I've got left and how long I need to be mining for. You know, because like I said it takes about half an hour on the other game to fill up your miner but as you can see it's asking me to reprocess the valves but so it's a simple process like and now it's asking me to go out and pick up the base metal but because I've just done it before I started recording there was hardly anything there. But I'll venture out and pick up what's left anyway, you know, like. 
I think there was about 600 or 900 or something in a 24 hour window of mining, planetary mining, from what I can remember. I like the way that you can do the planetary mining without actually doing anything apart from clicking one 24 hour button. I quite like that. There we go, picked up, you just head out to a bit of space and you pick it up and then you head back again, it's simple as, simple as that. So like I said, like obviously it doesn't look too bad there, did it? It was stuttering slightly but it wasn't looking too bad at all. Nothing like it was a minute ago, was it? Like I said, maybe I need to play on medium. So there, we get gifted a load of material. Here. And they want me to process my first ship. I like to build my first ship. Which is ideal. You don't even have to wait because it's a training mission. You see, like processing the ship, like building the ship in the other game, it can take you a couple of hours to build a couple of ship. So what I decided to do is I decided to try and re sell that retractive gas. But I have a few problems. It doesn't seem to want to sell. So I find a way of stacking it. You click the multi-select, you highlight both of them. And then it says, uh, I can't remember, it says something, you'll work it out. It's something like, uh, I can't remember what, it, what they call it now, but they call it something and you just, it bundles it together. But as you can see, I click sell now, the sell now button. It's still in the cargo hold, so, and it's no broker's fee, so I know it hasn't sold, or it hasn't even gone onto the market. So I'm not sure why I can't just sell one of them, or maybe it's because it's such a small amount, maybe you can't sell such a small amount, maybe. Yeah, I bought a blueprint the other day. It was that ship you could have just seen there, the Griffin, I think it's called. But to buy the material to build it, it was 200,000. And I only had about 50 left after I'd bought the blueprint for 16,000. So luckily they gave you all the material to build this Corsa for free. Because I'm telling you, it would have took ages building it. Would have took ages running around looking for the material and reprocessing the right material and that. Honestly, building the ships is a nightmare. You won't believe how long it takes. You know to like find all the right material and then reprocess it and then do the mining and. Then you've still got to wait to build the ship as well and it, honestly it takes hours. And then like you get caught with having to buy some of the material because you can't find all of it. You see there, it's a frigate or a frigate, yeah I think it is. That's what I bought, the top one, top left it was. Yeah but like I said when it said 200,000 to build it. To buy the material to build it. It sort of put a sickener on it really. So as you can see, like I did have about 63,000. But now that I've just built that ship, it's just took 50,000 off, off. So now I'm left with 23. 
So, yeah, a bit gutted that I've got no money left in this game. Like, obviously, I might earn some more in the advanced missions next time, like when I um, get around to doing the advanced missions in the next video. I might earn a bit more, but yeah, so I've got to repackage all the stuff off the last course and put it on the new course of trainer. So, fitting the ship out for about the fourth time. Yeah, I should have it done so. See, I think I've put the wrong one in. It wanted to make you put the small energy capacitor in. Yeah, then it teaches you about this rigs, about fitting rigging. Just something I didn't even realise you could do. But there it says open rig assembly there. And it gives you more slots to fill out. See, I didn't even realise you could do this. So like I said, it's definitely worth doing the beginner tutorials. Because you learn like how to play the game. Like, I was totally clueless when I first got this game. Even though I played EVE Online for a year and a half, I was still struggling with this game. Like, stuff's totally different, like. There's a lot of buttons that look the same and stuff. But the way that you, you end up playing the game, it's just different, I'd say. It's hard work working it out. So off we go to do the hard mission. Luckily it's an easy one, even though it said it's hard. Oh yeah, we're getting up to the bit where uh, I need to show you how to be get you how to get your beginner missions back on if you lose it. So I'll try and show you in the minute after we've done this uh, mission. See, it's really taking my shield down that. It already wipes it out. It's alright though. Luckily I turned everything on. So here we go, we head back. Right guys and girls, if you get lost, and you, you get stuck, you need to look for the thing on the left hand side. It looks like a, a circle with a sun in the middle of it. It's like yellow, a yellow circle with it, like a circle inside. It looks like that there, but you'll see it on the left hand side of the screen, just above the chat. There, it's highlighted there. There, so I click it. And that's how you get into your training tutorials. I didn't realise that that was actually a button. 
you know, like I didn't even realise it was a button. So hopefully that's going to help a few people out because like I got stuck when I didn't know what to do next. You know, like I was struggling with like the fact I was still at the beginning of the game and not really understanding it. So what I decided to do here is give like all the advanced missions a right good read through. You know, like I read all of them just to make like just to get my heads up on what's happening in the next next mission like you know like I'll probably have to read them all again when I start the next video like because I'll have forgotten what I've what I've read here but yeah I crack on with that but I don't accept any of the missions I thought I'd wait until the next video and just record it from doing the advanced missions and then that way if anybody ever gets stuck playing the game hopefully one of my videos will help them out that's the plan anyway whether it actually works or not whether anybody will actually watch my video or find out or not I don't know but we'll soon find out one day so as you can see there's like three three blocks of missions three lots of missions there just on the on the tutorial one and then there's like all them there there's like at least another five training missions or six training missions which are all going to have like maybe two or three in each of them so there might be a load more training to come yet yeah, like guys Yeah, so as you can see, it's only been going, what, 50 minutes? And I've got 33 lustre in alloy and 6 base metals. So I decided to go and pick them up. I thought like I might as well go and pick them up while I'm just finishing off the video, really. So yeah, like obviously it plays all right there, doesn't it? But like I said, it's a bit funny sometimes, isn't it? It stutters a little bit when it doesn't always do it. So I don't know. We'll work it out, guys. I'll work it out. If I have to put it on medium graphic settings, I'll have to put it on medium graphic settings. But until I start getting issues on every mission, I don't think I'm going to bother. Yeah, so I just decided, I only pick up one of them. I didn't realise that, like, I could have picked up both of them at the same time. Yeah, I didn't realise at the time. But you can, you can pick up both, both of them at the same time, like. As long as you've got enough rum in your ship, I suppose. But anyway, we're back to it. I move the gear out of my ship and into the hot into the hangar. That's it guys and girls pretty much for the the beginner tutorials. They're all pretty much finished and uh we're on to the advanced now. As you can see I try and sell it again. I click the sell now button the sell button but nothing happens so you try it a couple of times but I, maybe you can't sell one maybe that's the problem so anyway thanks for uh, joining me in this video and if you like the content don't forget to like and subscribe and uh I'll see you in the next session. Like I said, it's going to be advanced missions only in the next session. 
So we'll just uh, hopefully I'll be able to crack up, crack them off with having no problems. I'm hoping. Well, that's the plan anyway. Right until another time, guys. I'll see you in the next one.